Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To view the keyboard accessibility settings in Windows 11, open the Settings app window and then click the Accessibility button at the left side of the screen to show the accessibility settings for your computer to the right. Then click the keyboard button to the right to show the keyboard accessibility settings at the right side of the Settings app window. To enable or disable the Sticky Keys settings in Windows 11, click the Sticky Keys setting button's toggle switch to set it to the on or off position as desired. To set the Sticky Keys settings, click the Sticky Keys setting button to show the Sticky Keys settings at the right side of the window. To enable or disable the keyboard shortcut of pressing the Shift key five times in a row to turn Sticky Keys on or off, Click the keyboard shortcut for Sticky Keys setting button's toggle switch to set it to the on or off position. To enable or disable showing the Sticky Keys icon in the taskbar, click the Show the Sticky Keys icon on the taskbar setting button's toggle switch to set it to the on or off position. To enable or disable locking the shortcut keys when they are pressed twice in a row, Click the Lock Shortcut Keys when pressed twice in a row setting button's toggle switch to set it to the on or off position. To enable or disable turning off sticky keys when two keys are pressed at the same time, click the Turn Off Sticky Keys when two keys are pressed at the same time setting button's toggle switch to set it to the on or off position. To enable or disable playing a sound when shortcut keys are pressed and released, Click the Play a Sound when shortcut keys are pressed and released setting buttons toggle switch to set it to the on or off position. To return to the keyboard settings when finished, click the keyboard link in the breadcrumb navigation at the top of the Settings app window. To enable or disable the Filter Keys settings in Windows 11, click the Filter Keys setting buttons toggle switch to set it to the on or off position as desired. To set the Filter Keys settings, click the Filter Keys setting button to show the Filter Keys settings at the right side of the window. To enable or disable the keyboard shortcut of pressing and holding the right shift key for 8 seconds to turn Filter Keys on or off, click the keyboard shortcut for Filter Keys setting button's toggle switch to set it to the on or off position. To enable or disable showing the Filter Keys icon in the taskbar, click the Show the Filter Keys icon on the taskbar setting button's toggle switch to set it to the on or off position. To enable or disable a beep when keys are pressed or accepted, click the Beep when keys are pressed or accepted setting button's toggle switch to set it to the on or off position. To enable or disable ignoring quick keystrokes in Windows 11, Click the Ignore Quick Keystrokes, Slow Keys, Setting Buttons Toggle Switch to set it to the on or off position. If enabled, to set the duration to wait before accepting another keystroke, click the Ignore Quick Keystrokes, Slow Keys, Setting Button to expand it, and then select the duration from the Wait Before Accepting a Keystroke Setting Buttons dropdown in the Expanded button section. To enable or disable ignoring unintended keystrokes in Windows 11, click the Ignore Unintended Keystrokes Bounce Keys setting button's toggle switch to set it to the on or off position. If enabled, to set the duration to wait before accepting a repeated keystroke, click the Ignore Unintended Keystrokes Bounce Keys setting button to expand it, and then select the duration from the Wait Before Accepting Repeated Keystroke setting button's dropdown in the Expanded button section. To enable or disable ignoring repeated keystrokes in Windows 11, click the Ignore Repeated Keystrokes Repeat Keys setting button's toggle switch to set it to the on or off position. If enabled, to set the duration to wait before accepting the first repeated keystroke, click the Ignore Repeated Keystrokes Repeat Keys setting button to expand it, and then select the duration from the Wait Before Accepting the First Repeated Keystroke setting button's dropdown in the Expanded button section. Then select the duration to wait before accepting subsequent keystrokes from the Wait Before Accepting Subsequent Repeated Keystroke Setting Buttons dropdown in the Expanded Button section. To return to the keyboard settings when finished, click the keyboard link in the breadcrumb navigation at the top of the Settings app window. 
to toggle playing a sound on or off when you press the caps, num, or scroll lock keys in Windows 11. Click the toggle keys setting buttons toggle switch to set it to the on or off position as desired. To show the notification preferences for the sticky, filter, and toggle keys, click the notification preferences setting button to expand it. To enable or disable notifications when you turn on sticky, filter, or toggle keys using the keyboard, check or uncheck the notify me when I turn on sticky, filter, or toggle keys from the keyboard checkbox. To enable or disable playing a sound when you turn sticky, filter, or toggle keys on or off using the keyboard, check or uncheck the play a sound when I turn sticky, filter, or toggle keys on or off from the keyboard checkbox. To turn the on-screen keyboard on or off in Windows 11, click the on-screen keyboard setting buttons toggle switch to set it to the on or off position as desired. Clicking the X in the upper right corner of the on-screen keyboard to close it also toggles this switch to the off position. You can also turn the on-screen keyboard on or off in Windows 11 by pressing the keyboard shortcut of the Windows logo key plus Control plus O keys. To enable or disable always underlining the access keys in Windows 11 even when not holding down the Alt key on the keyboard, click the Underline Access Keys setting buttons toggle switch to set it to the on or off position as desired. To enable or disable using the Print Screen keyboard key to open the Screen Snipping tool in Windows 11, click the Use the Print Screen button to open Screen Snipping setting buttons toggle switch to set it to the on or off position as desired. As noted, based on your other app settings, you may need to restart your computer to apply this change. To close the Settings app window when finished, click the X button in its upper right corner. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.